Gone in 30 seconds. The News for Jack's I team has new information on a rash of catalytic converted thefts in our area. That crime prompted this intense arrest on I-95. Get out of the car now! Multiple deputies walking with guns drawn toward the car to find this, the catalytic converters in a trunk. We're going to have more on those arrests in just a moment. A catalytic converter, it's designed to reduce emissions from vehicles' exhaust and uses precious metals to filter them out. Thieves are stealing the expensive car parts from under vehicles at an alarming rate. We've learned Jacksonville police alone worked 900 cases January through November of this year. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci explains ways to protect your vehicle from needing an expensive fix. That's the sound of a battery-powered saw under an SUV. It only takes seconds for a trio of thieves to cut out the expensive catalytic converter. Another security camera captures the criminals walking away with several of the high-priced auto parts. We did have a footage of a car that was circling the block out back, and uh, hopefully that can help lead to some clues on who these people are. March Motors' GM, Jason March, says they took catalytic converters from eight vehicles on his Atlantic Boulevard lot on Christmas morning. <laughs> Replacements are costing the dealer about $1,000 per vehicle. How fast can they strike? They can arrive on scene, do what they do, and be gone in under 30 seconds. Jacksonville police are working hundreds of cases just like this one across the city. 900 separate catalytic converter theft reports from January 1st to November 30th. We should note that burglars stole multiple converters in many of those cases, targeting homes and businesses alike. Why are catalytic converters so valuable to thieves? It's just one of those things where it's one of the most valuable parts of the vehicle. Detectives are checking scrapyards and online swap shops for the pilfered parts. Is it illegal for someone to to buy a catalytic converter without going through the proper channels? So it's illegal if you are buying something that a reasonable person would believe to be stolen, yes. The National Insurance Crime Bureau reports more catalytic converter thefts than ever before as the precious metals used skyrocket in cost. Rhodium valued at $14,500 per ounce. Palladium, over $2,000 per ounce. And platinum going for more than $1,000 per ounce. Typically, recyclers will pay $50 to $250 per catalytic converter. Give us a call. They can call 904-600-0500. Uh, Police are asking people to report suspicious activity, to park in a well-lit area where others can see your vehicle. And if you have an enclosed space like a garage, use it. Also, engrave your car's vehicle identification number, or VIN, onto the part, or have a mechanic reinforce it with a bar or an alarm. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.